Windows Keyboard Shortcuts Keyboard shortcuts are keys or combinations of keys that provide an alternative way to do something that you'd typically do with a mouse. Here are a few keyboard shortcuts for the Windows operating system with the Windows key. Let us look at them one by one. Windows, plus, comma. Press the Windows plus comma keys, and keep the Windows key pressed. This will temporarily allow you to peek at the desktop. As soon as you release the Windows button, your previously working window will appear. Windows, plus, D. In this command, we will press Windows, and the D keys. This will display your desktop and minimize all the task windows. Windows, plus, Tab. Suppose we have some programs opened on our desktop, like Word and Excel in this example. But, you want a clean desktop to work on some other thing. So, press the Windows and Tab keys to open the task view. Here you can see all the tasks running on the current desktop. Here, click on the New Desktop button. A new virtual desktop, named Desktop 2, is created. You can make multiple such virtual desktops. Click on the Desktop 2 that we created. We can see that, it is a clean desktop to work on. There are no tasks running, that we were working on in the previous desktop. We can open another program here to work on, for example, PowerPoint. The tasks running on these virtual desktops will not interfere with each other. Press, Windows, plus, Tab keys to switch between the desktops. Here we are working in Word and Excel. Here, on this virtual desktop, we are working on PowerPoint. In this way, we can keep our tasks organized. Note that we can directly create a new virtual desktop by pressing Windows, plus Control, plus D keys. This is a new virtual desktop 3 created. We can navigate between these virtual desktops by pressing Windows, plus Control, plus left or right arrow keys. To close the current virtual desktop, press, Windows, plus Control, plus F4 keys. Windows, plus arrow keys. Here we have a PowerPoint window in focus. If we press the Windows, and up arrow keys, the window will be maximized. If we press the Windows, and down arrow keys then, the window will restore down. If we press the Windows, plus Shift, plus up arrow keys then, the active window will maximize vertically while maintaining its width. So, the width remained constant, and the length maximized. Windows, plus right or left arrow keys, will snap the position of the current task window to the right or left half of the screen respectively. When the position is decided, like in this case, we are keeping the PowerPoint window on the right, release the Windows key, and, we will be given the option to select the second task to be positioned to the left. You can select any other task, and it will be placed to the left of the screen. Suppose you want to fit in one more task window in here then, select one of the windows from this divided screen pane, and press the Windows, plus up key. That pane will be positioned upwards. You can also go downwards with Windows, plus down key. Release the Windows key, then you will get an option to select the third task window. It will be placed on the screen. Similarly, you can also set a fourth window here. With Windows, plus the up arrow key, we can place this PowerPoint window up, and select fourth task window to fit in. Like this, we can place four task windows on the screen to work on them. Well, this will be much more efficient if you have a very big monitor to work on. On small monitors, it looks congested. Only two panes are efficient for small monitors. So these were a few useful Windows shortcut keys, containing the Windows key. If you liked the information then, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your time and patience. Have a nice day.